I'm way up, I feel blessed. Hey, good morning, everyone. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, give everyone a little bit of time. I like how, like, literally the music lined up. A little drop <laughs> for me to come on right at the, the two-minute mark. I didn't, I didn't, or zero-second count. I, I swear I didn't uh, align with that at all. Oh, jeez. Let's just stop this thing. Let's do this thing. Close the billion things on the computer. Hey, buddy. How's it going? I did let's see. Did you, uh, let's see if there's any pull requests going on here. It's a beautiful, actually it's a lot better of a day today than, than yesterday. It was pretty not great yesterday, but you know, what are you going to do? So, uh, today it seems to be okay. A little, little Seattle outside is very gray. The grayest I've seen it in a while. It used to be nice and sunny and, and great, but it's not. So what are you going to do? Ugh. I'm so sleepy. We, we started to watch True Detective Season 3 last night. Season 3. Season one, phenomenal. Season two, eh, it's okay. Season three, so far, pretty good. Although I did fall asleep kind of at the end of episode two, but. Hey, a pine, a pine, a peen, a pine dax, a dax, dax, a pine. Look, I can see the little, little logos. Twitch Prime. Ugh, squeaking up. What I figured today is yesterday I was so hung up on this accelerometer shenanigans. I want to. Do something, <laughs> Alicia. Uh, figure out what I was gonna do with my media plugin. I've been wanting to work on it for like ever. I was like promising these people I'd do these pull requests. I'm like, I'm just gonna do them live. See how it's going. Hey, Ras, how's it going? From Denmark. It says it in right in your name. I like it. So we know. But let's pour some coffee. I just made it a few minutes ago because it's even still in the V60. That's a rare occasion. V60 Hario action. It's looking pretty good. It's the last of it. It's the last of my coffee I have, so I need to go get some today. I got my damn good coffee mug. Pour it up. I figure I'll just leave it in the V60. It's a pretty big, big mug, and it probably won't last very long, to be honest with you. But put it in there. All right. Hmm. Hey, Raph, how's it going, buddy? Now, how is it going? I got my new setup. Very excited. Uh, and by new, I mean they're all my same computers. I just reconfigure them so I have my actual streaming on my on my own personal computer, but then I'm streaming my work com work computer. Is it asset tagged? My work computer that's not asset tagged. So my work computer that I had during my Xamarin days, my Surface Book 2, is piped through my Elgato, just like when I stream my, my switch right because then nothing's gonna happen on my computer but of course then I have work stuff on there so ooh, sometimes there's some internal build so we'll see we'll see how that goes uh, cool let's pop over um, hit that button BAM that's what I was working on yesterday see if Matthew did anything uh, no I need to fix I'm gonna fix that it might be my weekend weekend long read but here's my media plugin 72 issues not great but the media plugin there's a long-standing pull request that we just need to test out and I'm gonna kind of go through how I test out things so we can see 23 days ago everyone is so mad so do it already uh, review of your implementation the long old the deprecated seal amazing because deprecated asset Mm-hmm. All right, so what I need to do is I need to figure out how do I, uh, how do I test a pull request? That's always my, my hardest part. I'm like, oh, there's pull request is here. How do I test it? I'm just like, I don't know. Hey, mortal, how's it going, buddy? How's it going, mortal? So I'm always, I'm always confused in that regard. So if I come into my repo, 
I'm way up, I feel blessed. A nemesis, logger, logger, lager, logger foe. Thank you for the follows. I appreciate that. I oh, mean, yesterday, Kim gave us through some bit support bits my way. I did like that. That was pretty good. Um, okay, so I come in, and let's say I come in, and I do some sinking, right? All right, sink. I'm good. Just, you know, just a sleepy morning. Oh, look at all these. I don't know. I haven't had this code in a while. Let me undo these changes. What was I doing? This seems a little bit worrisome that I have all these changes. Oh, they don't look like real changes. They look like formatting changes. Oh, okay, all right, I'm feeling, feeling okay about that. Let's go ahead and undo changes. Well, what kind of coffee? Let's see if my... Uh, Coffee bot working. Mm, the last of my delicious Olympia coffee. It's a Kenyan uh, brew. It's like kind of pretty light, light roast, I would say. Pretty, pretty nice. All right, so let us go back to my changes. I'm pretty diehard using the internal, internal, I mean, using the, the Team Explorer for Git. But it works pretty okay. I don't know. People seem to hate it, but I'm so used to it now. That I'm just like, that. just go and sink it. Mmm. I like that coffee emoji. That's pretty good. Jesse Rocks Cafe. Might redo all my emotes, em em emoticons. I'm not positive. I need some feedback on them. But I do like Mooch, but I don't know. I don't know if I love her background. I've received, you know, emotes with anything else, but I kind of like, I still like my, uh, my subscriber tiers a lot. So, oh, I also read that, uh, Twitch is going to make it so, or maybe they already changed it, where they, um, uh, where if you miss a month of subscribing, you still get your, 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 like, how many months or whatever. So how do I, how do I, um, how do I check out this, <laughs> how, do I, how do I check out this thing? Oh, uh, do I not have the GitHub, uh extension installed it's right here okay where is um because this is a github there we go okay so oh this is gonna be good i'm very excited about this now so i got the github extension and what this should let me do is it should let me check out the pr yes okay perfect because like it doesn't show up in the thing so i'm like give me the thing cool so I can add a review. I've checked it out. It's like a hundred. It's so many files changed, but really not that many. Okay, cool. So perfect. That was, that was really slick. People, I mean, that's a to me that's a really big big deal. Now I'm on this PR branch because it doesn't show up normally for some reason the Team Explorer. But so So he added some interfaces, and I'm pretty sure what I want to do is look at his implementation here of it. So he added all these samples. That seems fine. Uh, and inside of shared, uh, there's, uh, ties in. Don't care. Uh, so here's my iMedia. <laughs> All right, come on, Visual Studio. You got this. You got this, Visual Studio. There we go. What are what are we what are we what are we rocking here? Okay, SDK stuff. Got that. Got that. Okay, cool. So he did. Okay. Yeah. So he did. Here's a normal one. Pick photo. Pick photos. I don't think that's how you spell customizations either. Yeah, see, it's not how you spell it. Customization, customization with a Z. Options, let's read, let's rename this. Let's go to definition. Rename. Be way better. 
multi picker bar style. Okay. So many options inside of here. Interesting. Oh, for iOS. I see. To do this only affects iOS since Android uses native. All right, gotcha. No, no. Cancellation token. Default. Pick photos. Pick video. Pick video async. Hmm. Okay. So it's only for pick photos, and that's it. I'm fine with that. I was worried that he added too many different ones, but let us see what he does in Android. There seems to be a... Seems not correct. This is always my my fear. Like a bunch of just breaking changes. Object. Why is that an object? We refactored something. This is a media file. See, it's always my fear. It's gonna be a var. Oh, this is my this is my new favorite thing. Quick refactor. I think I can do use var project wide. Boom. Look at all those vars that I missed. A coworker asked me why Essentials isn't part of Xamarin Forms and why it's its own NuGet package. Oh, that's a, probably a good blog post to do. Oh, it's very simple. So. Multi-picker options frame name is still customizations. Um, you think it should be customizations? I like it with a Z. Alternate form. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a Z person. Oh, match the class name. Oh, oh, um, oh, okay, okay, hold on. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me look here. So in shared. Oh, so you're saying in here. These are all options, right? So it's like, this is an option, that's an option. Pick media option, store options, this other option, photo size. There's so many options, they're all terrible. The whole thing is terrible. Oh, um. I'm kind of confused, Aiden. What are you talking about? Multi picker options per RAM name. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Yes, 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 yes. I see what you're saying. Rename. Thank you. That's a good good find. I'll make sure that it is throughout everything too. I was like, that's a good one. Because I bet that is everywhere. So let's do a boop. string replace. Picker options. No. Boom. So to get to your question breaker, very, very simple. There's two reasons that um, Xamarin Essentials is not part of Xamarin Forms. The first reason at its core, the easiest one, is that it works with any Xamarin application, not just Xamarin Forms. So we didn't want people that um, and developers that are already using uh, or that are not using Xamarin Forms to have to take a dependency on Xamarin Forms. And we didn't need Xamarin Forms for anything, so we didn't need the dependency of Xamarin Forms. Now that, of course, means that the initialization code has to get written for uh, for uh, Android a, a little bit, which is kind of the bummer of it, because if we were in Xamarin Forms, we wouldn't have to do that and it would just work. But of course, if you weren't using Xamarin Forms, then you would need to initialize Xamarin Forms, and that would be some overhead and maybe increase your package size for no reason, which would be uh, no good uh, at all. 
So that's the first reason. Um, so I guess those are two reasons. One, we didn't have any dependencies. Two, we wanted everyone to be able to use it. And the third reason, I guess, the most important, is because we want to be able to update out of band. So Xamarin Forms needs to update out of band, but we also need to update out of band because if we find a fixing or if we find a bug in Xamarin Essentials, we want to be able to fix it without having to rely on Xamarin Forms to have a new package as well. So that's sort of our, our rationale there, I would say, if that makes sense. So let's see. So if I have two reasons and they ask me anything today. Let's see here. So let's take a look at this implementation here. So Android. Okay, so let's go back in here. I don't even know how he did it. He has this picker activity. Totally makes sense. Yeah, it, it's probably not written down anywhere, so <laughs> that's probably why. Uh, but yeah, that, that makes sense. Maybe I'll put that in the wiki or something, and I'll, maybe I'll do a blog on it. Alright, so here's Android. So he says take take medias <laughs> take medias async <laughs> okay so you implemented this string type okay start activity create media intent Speak. extra test options Picker options. Extra multi select. I guess you can just do a multi select. That's cool. All right. He comes back. He gets a bunch of stuff back. Result.media. Media picked event args. You always get back. Oh, did he change that too, huh? So if I look at his changes in. The media file. That's what I'm saying. I'm worried about breaking changes. Um, where's this media file? Hmm. Oh, it returns a list of media file. Okay, I see. Oh, I see. He didn't change it. He just returns a bunch of different media files back. Okay, man, this library is out of control. Um, I, just, I just like to, <laughs> I just like to click everywhere <laughs> inside of a inside of these files and just like just use this just use this thing i don't know what you're doing visual studio but just use it all these little gray things i'm like yeah just just use that you don't need this look you got this mm -mm. take medias I'll, I'll i'll accept that as a reasonable thing so he registers he gets back media from e media picker picker Okay. Interesting. The last one? Let me see. Um, uh, I don't know where I was at now. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think I was inside of uh, Pick Medias, maybe? This one? Oh, here, yeah. This one. Because here, it's like this is being just, it's there. There's no real reason to describe it outside of it. So it's going to turn that into a local function. So 
so yeah, convert it into a into a local function because you don't need to describe. It doesn't need to be there. It can just be this local function that you can subscribe to and unsubscribe to. You don't need to keep it around. It's a good one. I'm all about those local functions. It's like little small cold, but but it, you know it's just there. Okay. I'm a little worried of it. So he comes back. He gets these media's files from somewhere and then where did they get fixed up at oh i guess they come back mm -hmm. let visual studio work for you that's what i say look at that just remove that wherever i see a gray dot i'm just like oh don't need that and this is old code right so this is like super old code this media comes from the activity. It does come from the activity. So activity is here, which is very unfortunate because this is totally not the way you're really supposed to do it. But you should really, it should be in somebody else's one. Hey, Hydro. Hi, Hydro. Uh, let's see. So there's the grant permission. This is the result that comes in. So those are clip data. No, okay. Grab stuff. This is all mad because it does stuff. It's a future. If it's canceled, else get media file. It's uh, lots of moving files. <laughs> This whole thing is like ridiculous. It's nearly impossible to, to figure out. Like why are there extra parameters for no reason? Okay, so on picked media, media files. Oh, add range. That's really interesting. Get media file async, media, media. Okay, so this thing gets media file, gets some args back. It says, hmm. how is he seeing if there's multiple? Dot media. Where are the returns at? So I'm so confused. Try move file data to string. I should just I'm just gonna see if this thing runs. Let's rebuild it. See if he has any errors. Oh, he does have an error. Okay. So oh um. Mm. Oh, there was an issue somewhere with. See what I have here. Do, 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 do. Media plugin sample. Hmm. I see what I did here. Whoops. Until I broke a bunch of stuff. We just did a bunch of that. Instead of customizations, we're calling it picker options. Badoop. There we go. Better. Fix that. Sync still building now. Manage new get packages. Uh, yeah, you should open up a bug, Hydra, if you see a issue or something like that uh, on it. Yeah, that's the best way to do it. And then they have a whole team that addresses it in general. So yeah, the, the Gitter is for conversation about like contributing to open source. And then the um, just issues are the best way to report stuff like that. Overlay image. Let's 
Let's see if that fixes stuff up. Rebuild. And I'm a little concerned about the comment that that individual had, which was five days ago. I believe is the old and deprecated CL. I'll double take a look at the iOS code next, but yeah. So here we want to look at localized string is obsolete. String. It's easy enough. And I know UI alert view is deprecated, but use overload UI delegate. formatting it'd be really nice if this just uh if this was just i need it needs to have a refactoring that puts it in line you know what i mean like how oh, oh my god oh my god look at that oh my god <laughs> i was like maybe there's just an option All right, i need to snip this okay people let's delay this uh, three seconds. Let's tweet that to the people. Always thanks, Kendra, if you, uh, It's like I expect it to do that, but then I don't expect it to do it at the same time <laughs> for some reason. Bam. That's how we do it. Get out of here. Snipping tool. That's that's fantastical. That's amazing. Then here there should be var. And here there should be convert to flag. Uh, yes, I do love the four for each and link refactoring. I went over that in, uh, um, another one. Hmm. Oh, I don't know how the new image button works. I need to look at the code. So maybe it's already there. Yeah. Definitely just add on to it. That's the best thing to do if you can. I'm gonna fix all these name violations. See, look at all these things. Rename. What are these underscores? No. No, not allowed. Yes, change all of those to var. When was get localized string introduced is what I want to see. iOS. Oh, 
Oh, maybe we just renamed it. I bet we just renamed it to to localized string. Okay, so that's good. Because I think this is an us thing, is my assumption. A Xamarin thing. Return one, okay. Use expression body members. Return expression body members, look at us. Oh geez, you don't, we had a whole conversation, Hydro, yesterday about underscores and how evil they are. I mean, for me, but in general. Um, there's a lot of interesting things in here, yeah. What's interesting? Oh, see, there needs to be a code refactoring on this, too. Oh, I'm interested. I bet if you did this. Oh, no, that doesn't work. I was like, I want it to... There's got to be something where it's like, does it again, but doesn't. That's okay. Um, come on now. <laughs> again. Why is there a private string get set? No, that, that's incorrect. That can't be a get set. There's no reason for it to be a get set. These are private variables it's a public string these don't need to be there they're private we get it I think this is just older code probably that he brought in from somewhere not proper. I should I'll turn these into expression body members. Everything looks better. Pretty. If null, then null. What problem? Um, no, I'm going to be testing. Um, I'm going to be testing this multi-image picker uh, pull request, basically. That's what I'm I'm cleaning up code, but I want to just test test it. But I'm I I can't live with testing, uh, with code that I don't approve of when it comes to when it comes to stuff like this. I'm like, ah, oh, I can't even I can't even begin. Not interested in. I don't even know what that means. Just tons of code that's in here for no reason, maybe. Like before I, all right, let's 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 build it. So I'm trying to test out the uh, in general. What I'm trying to test out is this pull request for multi-gallery select that this individual did many a times, uh, like a year and a half ago. And I needed to, I need to test it. That, that's what needs to happen um, in general. It's a large change, but I, I actually have a device and need to test it on a few devices here. We'll test it on, on a few here. So, but I needed to get it building because it didn't actually build in general. And that was the first problem. And then I'm just like, oh man, like, um, String. Uh, okay, so where did this? Oh, this is in the sample. And then I'm just like, okay, well, now. Now there's all these warnings and all these other things. Localized string dot. I do have an editor config. Oh wait, I don't have an editor config. Where's my editor config? Hey now. I definitely have an editor config, sir. It's right here. Somehow it did not <laughs> make it in here. No, it's definitely there. Good call. I don't know how that didn't get added, but no, I definitely have one for every single one of mine. So maybe he accidentally accidentally removed it I don't know that's highly possible too but I have one on every single one so they're all there see interesting now let's see what happens when I build this thing Ooh. 
Where is this localized string at? Didn't I just... I'm pretty... Okay, it's building still. All right, let's see. Let's see if this device is... This, this is my old, really crappy device. Yeah, thank you. I was like, where is it? Oh, that's a good idea. That's what I need to put in there. I need, a, I need, I need like a, I need something. This looks okay. Okay, so I probably also need to do edit. I can also remove that thing from there. Do, 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 do. Good, beta pack. Let's try Windows first. And also, let's look at this puppy. I'm pretty sure I have a new one. Let's run this pup. I guess the question is, does this one even, does UWP even do multi-select? Pick multiple files async. That's good. I'm a little worried. Hey Hydra, you should, yeah, DM me or let me know how you do that. I, I want to blog about doing something like that. Or if you have a blog on it, definitely let me know. That'd be pretty rad. Thanks. Yeah, you can do uh, music. I just use Pretzel, which is pretty rad. It's a pretty cool rad, like streaming type service. Pick photos. I don't know what this is going to bring up. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Perfect. Not implemented in reference assembly. Uh huh. Mm hmm. There we go. It's weird that he didn't add that in. Uh, let's look at his other sound. Oh, it's definitely there. Just didn't maybe test it on GWP. Again, little, it's little things. It's little things. It's on GitHub. Oh, really? So on, is it one of those GitHub things? Where's the things? Isn't there like a workflow or something? Um, I don't know why I don't have that. Settings? Projects? Merge button? Danger zone. Hmm. Oh, it's in Azure DevOps. Oh. Well then. We'll go there next. Let's see if this works now. Boop. This is apparently a huge, I'm like, I don't know what image I'm gonna be. Let's just do this. This goes into pictures. Let's put this into pictures. That's cool, open. You know what we should do in the sample? <sighs> oh man, let's do this. Manage NuGet packages. Oh, I could do. Um... Mm. That's not what I wanted. What we really want to do inside of this media plugin sample is do something like a list view of items. 
So instead of this image, we should really just have a... Come on. Now let's see what we're returning here. When we get images. Now we just have this image. So let us just not do that and let us do We get back a media file. So let's do a list and let's do a I don't have IntelliCode on, which is sad. Uh, <laughs> like, hmm. let's do this. Let's do a frame. Oh, that's cool. Nice. That's yeah, that's rad. Yeah, I'm trying. We're trying so hard. I'm trying so hard. <laughs> so let's see. This is the file. So let's go to our media. Media file. I just need to do how do I do this? Control Q. That should be in there, right? No. <laughs> Come on, quick. Media file. I don't understand why this is not in there. It's not super helpful. I'm, I'm just going to click on it. <laughs> so I just want to look at the properties. So there's path, album path, and see, so yeah, just path is what I want, I guess. Output the path. Okay. Okay, so that's my list view that goes underneath there. And then what we can do here is we can say list of media file. Let's say files. And list. That way it automatically triggers.
Okay. Guess we're not gonna show those, so it doesn't really matter. Take video. And here. I'm pretty sure that I had to clear that up there, so that's fine. Oh. Okay, there's that, and then, yeah, we can just do... Right, let's try that. Oh, should be inside of a view cell. Ugh, stupid view cell. I'm pretty sure, well, we'll find out in a second. <laughs> I thought they removed the need for that, but maybe they didn't. Oh no, they definitely did. <laughs> and bam. All right. Uh, okay, so let's try this. View cell. I'm shocked that it didn't uh, blow up before that though. Stupid view cell. I can set up a build. So I do have builds. So if I go into my plugins, let's look at media plugin. Just here. So you have a task that runs on it. So I have my triggers and they are here on my pull requests. Oh yeah, I can do that. From forks, that's what I need to set up. Save. Enable pull request validation. Do that. I guess the question is like, is there a task that you do? Check photos. Cool. Uh, should do aspect fit. That's cool. It does work. It works. Aspect fit. It works. All right, so that's cool. Let's try it on Android. I'm very worried about Android. Let's see here, this should be working. What the hell is this? So this phone, let's see here. So, let's see, let's see. This phone that I bought is like a really, really cheap phone. Uh, yeah, Vassion asks, <laughs> nice code behind event handlers. Why not use command style and VVM? Because I'm lazy because it's a sample project. <laughs> That's why. There's no reason I couldn't. I just like to shove it in there. So so this phone is like super janky and it and they it installs like all of this junk and like like adware and malware on it, I, I swear. It's really terrible, but we're, we're gonna use it anyways, because why not? Uh, I use it as like a terrible test device, but it is really, really bad. It's like old, old, old. I don't even know if I can install this APK. 
Yeah, usually in my sample test, where I'm just like really lazy, I'm just like, I don't know, I'm just gonna shove it right in the code behind because it's so simple to test that I don't wanna do a whole thing. This is a blue phone. It's a blue phone that I have. Yeah, and then for some reason, Visor doesn't think I'm purchased, but I'm totally purchased. So, how do I get out of that? Exit. I think that was a Visor ad though, so that might be okay. All I know is that there's a lot of things on this phone that I turn it on, there's something new installed every time, which I don't quite understand. <laughs> See, look, like, what is this? Like, the actual phone has advertisements. If that makes sense. Which it doesn't make sense. Like, it has all this stuff in, I'm so, I'm, I'm like, always so confused. That's like, what is happening? And then like it installed a different launcher. And then this is like a KitKat phone too. But it looks like I'm just gonna uninstall a bunch of stuff. That's what I've been doing. I'm gonna uninstall everything I possibly can. That's what I did, I swear. <laughs> I swear. Uh, let's uninstall the run times too. But it's like almost at like the root of the system or something. It was like a really cheap $40 phone. But still, like I, no one should have that experience. Like what kind of experience is it? Like what is this Yahoo Android locker? What is that? Watch a bit running. It's, and then it's Android, so you should be able to do whatever you want. Package installer. If we get more pop-ups though, I'm gonna be pissed. Like, there's all this stuff, right? Like, I don't know what's on install. Data usage lock screen client? Why is that on here? There's an FM radio, so don't worry. It's okay. It's all good. Location engineer mode? You know they're tracking my location. There's an Android Suite daemon. See if we get more pop-ups. I even see I did disabled stuff. I had a bunch of stuff. I don't know, man. Are there even photos on here? Gallery. Apparently, I took some photos. I'm a little worried of what these are. Let's go ahead and hide this for a second. I'm like, what are these? Oh, that's good. They're. Let's take some new photos, I guess. Oh yeah, I was totally doing a sample app. So let's see here if I can do camera. Okay, there we go. All right, let's see here. Let us debug to it. it should be there. There it is. No snow yet. No snow yet. No, no, no. Yeah. Everything that's on this phone sounds suspicious. Everything sounds suspicious. There is an update though, so that's good. Hey, gum. Maybe you could add or invite a guest to make a VS Code snippet autocomplete thingy. Invite a guest. I don't know what that means. But we should have code snippets. I would like that a lot. It'd be nice if there was like a cool extension. Mads have, yeah, I could ask Mads. It's probably a good idea. We do need someone to give some MVVM some love. I can. I just saw him. Ran into him yesterday, actually. Or no, Thursday. A Thurs Thursday. I ran into him. 
Oh, look at that. I can use Art or Dalvik. That's good. Um, yeah, I just ran into him. Yeah, I'm going to sync up with him a little bit more. I got, that's a good idea. That is a good idea. Let's see, what are we doing here? We're installing some stuff. How do I do options? Oh gosh. Okay. Installing stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, and there's multiple mads, so that's how you, you know, it's he's legit. I think maybe whatever was doing the ads are gone. Maybe. Man, this phone's so terrible. It's better than using my own phone like I did yesterday. And people start to text me. Deployment was successful. We did it. All right, let's see here. do multiple and apparently maybe the images are not even coming back let's see take a photo oh. oh hmm did he not set this up correctly oh he did not set this up correctly so I don't know how he tested this it's very frustrating It's like, hmm, this is very frustrating because he didn't really test it very well. This is always my issue. didn't install. Very old version of Xamarin Forms 2. We also want.
<laughs> yeah, I think we should have some MVVM scaffolding built right in. I, I agree on that. I'm going to talk to Mads about this. We're setting up a... Mads and I are setting up a little one-on-one, -on -one, so I'm pretty excited about that. It's a good idea. It's a good idea. Why is everything all over the place? Oh, that's not, yeah, that's not gonna do it, that's fine. Okay, let's get this in there. Then we want to make sure that we have the correction. We request the permissions for you. I'm gonna add this into our Android manifest. Oh, yeah, this doesn't work because of this. That's good. Why is that not there? It's definitely there. So why is that not there? But it's, okay, weird. Very strange. Oh, what does Glide do? Ah. So Glide basically is an amazing library from Peppers. Well, Glide is, is the universal way of loading images inside of Android. So it's very much like Google approved of doing of doing it. So Glide is this amazing library that super optimizes all of your image loading for smooth scrolling, everything like that. So what Peppers did is he created a very lightweight version of Glide called Glide X for Xamarin and uh, Xamarin Forms implementation. So what it does is when you install Glide, uh, Glide X Forms, what it will do is it will use the Glide implementation of loading bitmaps instead of using um, the Xamarin Forms implementation. So it fixes everything. It makes it way, much, way better, basically. Yeah. So it'll automatically resize, compress, do everything for you. Um, so you don't have to think about it. Just super nice. So if you're having issues with images, you want to install Glide X. Add this line of code, and then boom, you're done. And it, it just makes everything a thousand times better. So, which is pretty rad. But we should probably do a glide blog post. I'm kind of surprised we didn't do one. I'm going to put that on my list. Because we have a really good sample glide. I thought we did one. Nope. So we talked about it here. So here's like a good one here where he talks about the optimizations that they did the memory usage so here's a grid page of images from 
268 megs down to 16 megs, 94 to 12, 24 to 9, 267 to 3. So it's pretty good. Pretty good. Hmm. It's pretty, pretty huge, yeah. What is this thing doing? Yeah, glide's rad. Glide. But he doesn't have a lot of insults, so we're definitely going to fix that. see where our variables are at because if we're going to pull this in we should do a what's my media plugin at? Mm -hmm. yeah probably yeah, a lot of people use ff image loader because but that's cross-platform but i don't use it because it's like extra stuff and uh, glide x is just the underlying Optimization stuff, so I trust trust the peppers. Get media plugin. It's terrible that I can't find it. So 401. I'm gonna make this a five. I think that's better. Save. It's being used by another process. That's weird. Clean it. What's it doing? Mm -hmm. well, it looks like it's still going. It's interesting. Oh, there we go. I'm kind of interested if my device supports multi-selection though that's the question <laughs> it does but it doesn't seem to be working so that's interesting so that thing comes back let's add a breakpoint i guess if there's anything in the output Just be that it doesn't know. Oh yeah, media is coming to Xamarin Essentials at some point, but not this version of it because this version is terrible. I mean, it's good and bad at all at the same time. There's so many things that I would like to have fixed, but but we're gonna redo it from scratch. That's already in the already in the works, if you will. Here's the media file, content, album path, storage. So there it is. I can't load it, it's in temp. Hmm. I wonder if someone else said this. like it, it is getting it back but it's not displaying it which is weird let me do take photo let's see if that works hmm 
Hmm. It's like the list is not doing it. Could just be my code, I guess, that is trying to bind and like it. Maybe Android camps accidentally exited. Pick photos. I don't think that this gallery supports multi select, so that's probably something. That's a little strange that it's not even displaying the path. Like it should. Oh, what? This is this is the problem. I'm an idiot. I was like, oh, I wonder if it's this thing. I think it's because it's inside of a scroll view. That could be could be the issue. Let's try that out. It's like, oh, maybe that's maybe that's it. But it definitely is not doing multi select, so there's that. I was like, oh, it's all in a scroll view, so it probably can't calculate the height, and then that's probably an issue. No, still not doing it. So what I'm seeing here is just nothing. Hmm. I guess to a file manager? see where it's actually at. Well, if I put a breakpoint on my in here, it says it should be on. Storage. Android. Data. Here. Files. Pictures. Temp. They're all definitely there. Sample. Test. I don't know why they're in temp, but that seems okay. <laughs> they're all definitely there, so that is good. So the question is, why can't it display it? Maybe it truly can't display the image path? Doesn't seem correct. Hmm. Let's try my phone, maybe. Let's unplug that. Let's try this out. Boop. See what it before I bring it up. I'm gonna see what it what it brings up. You can always try iOS too. Let's pull up my. Let's see if 
this will install and run. So at least UWP works. Android S, that's the one I was concerned with. <clears throat> I just feel like it's not gonna ever work, but it could be like phone dependent or gallery dependent. Maybe it doesn't accept that intent. It's always my concern, I never know what's happening. <sighs> At least it picked a photo. I got that. Oh, multi pick does work here, but let's see where our file's coming from. Here it comes from storage emulated. seeing it did work but um the images are not coming through hmm. maybe it's, uh, it's strange i mean this one did do multi-pick so maybe that gallery just doesn't support it which is interesting so yeah i guess that file thing doesn't work Hmm. I guess what I could do is um, let me see how I did it. In that. How do I tell people to do this? Because <laughs> it should just display the image. That's what I'm concerned about. So yeah, pick photo works. So if I go into here, let's see. So I do pick photos, and I can be like, okay, cool. And be like, it's like this monkey, this dog. See, multi gallery working. That's cool. And then, yeah, picks two. It's just the images are not showing. And my assumption is it has to do with how I'm doing the binding inside of Android and like maybe how Xamarin Forms supports this path. And that's annoying. Um,. Be a forum post. <laughs> Use a media plugin. Hmm. It should work. The other thing I could do is, oh gosh. I could just install the I could install that and if I really wanted to I could do that 
then inside of a list view, just make it simple. I could do is I could do instead of a list view, I'll make this a scroll view. Let's put it in a scroll view. Then move this here. We'll put this inside of a stack panel. Then what we can do is do change the file collection, we will do do this thing. I just saw this blog post. It's like, how do I do it? Okay, so no, that's not what that is anymore though, because it's a stack layout. Let's build this. And say if there's a list. Image if files dot count. And let's just be able to add that in. When creating, oh yeah, I don't need a bindable layout. I just add those things manually. I'll say return. I'll say image list dot children dot add new image var. image with request equals 300, type request equals 300, aspect equals aspect fit. Okay, and then image at source, get file, the var file equals e dot New items dot first uh, first or default. Add some link in there. Oh, it's in there already. Um, it's an I list. Go return there. File dot. This is a new list as media file. That's what it is. Add 
An image. It was so pretty before, now it's not gonna be pretty. That's okay. And we can just say, yep, there we go. Okay. I don't know why that doesn't work. Let's try this. Let's try this. When in doubt, just add things manually to a stack layout. <laughs> The get stream seems to work, but it seems as if like the. Oh, I wonder if Glide doesn't support the loading locally. That, that could be it. Maybe I broke it with Glide. Some people dream success. Ooh. Oh, you're gonna wake Hydro up. coming in Got with it. the Twitch Prime Something sub. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Wow, 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 wow. Nothing is impossible. See what's going on here. It's gonna rebuild. Oh, yeah, it's like not gonna rebuild because it's failed, so it's good. And let's do that. Let's go and rebuild this. <laughs> I appreciate that. I appreciate that. And now you can do stuff like this. Little well, mochis. Much, much, much. All right, so let's see if this works. I'm just gonna add an image. I was all fancy with my with my card views. I was so fancy. And I do need to see why that doesn't work, but I don't know. I feel like we're at least getting closer on this PR. Lots of changes. And then I want to test on iOS real quick too. So. If I can connect. If not, I'll do it tomorrow. Come on, build. Build, 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 build it, build it, build it. Build it, do it, do it. Build. Build faster. There we go, tearing it down. Debugging. Photos. There we go. There we go. It's my Fortnite setup. The image source thing works, but the other thing does not work for some reason, and that's so the image is obviously clearly there. But I think maybe Glide has an, an issue with it. I'm not sure, but it's definitely there. Cute, 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 cute. All right, let's see here. Let us try iOS, iPhone simulator. And did he do anything in here? Let's see if it's here or not. Oh, Gumshoe, I didn't see your comment. What did you mean by some Xamarin Essential storage that works? Secure storage? 
I don't know. I, I need. I would need more information about what you're doing. You can, uh, if you have a GitHub page, you can always send it to me, DM me on the Twitter. Let's build this puppy. I've tried to set up a Mac OS build host and a VM, but no success so far. Um, I don't know if you're if you host a Mac VM, you're not supposed to. So <laughs> there's that. But I just have a Mac next to me right here. That should work. Portable PDB to MDB exception. Oh, I don't know. Send me a send me an email. Yeah, you're not supposed to. I can't talk about that. Um, do I have all those Macs? Those are different Macs. I have one at work and one here. And then sometimes I add different ones because uh, based on like the network I'm at, I have to add the IP address instead of the actual. Um, did this deploy? Oh, there we go. There we go. Cool. <laughs> I guess that's a valid point. Look at those check boxes. Done. It does work. Impressive. Let's do also then just for good measure because we're a good sampler. There we go, cool. All right, we did it. I think it is mostly looking good. Let's go into Team Explorer. Let's go into changes. Testing. I still have a lot of work to do. I'm not super comfortable with putting this in yet, but it's definitely there. Um, let's put that in there. Let's see, I'm curious if this actually comes through in the pull request. And it should kick it off technically. Oh yeah, all broadcasts are recorded. You can go to the videos tab and then I also put them on my YouTube later. It's just by name is my is my YouTube. I think it's in the, the links below. So you can give that a give it a look sees. Is this added in here? Where did it go? Where did the code go? <laughs> um, I 
Oh, there it is. I was like, okay, where did I, was, I was worried that I lost all the code because I didn't see it come through. Oh, there it is. Cool. Wonder if this thing's building or not. Should. Yeah, that good old secure SSH. That's what'll do it. Nice, that's good. Oh, there it is, in progress. All right, we're getting close. I think I'm going to lock it up for today. We got really, really far. Let's see what the uh, fiance is saying. Mm, monkey. Mm. Okay. Well, I hope everyone has a great day. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, it was pretty fun to hang out and fix this thing up. It actually is working. So that is good. I may pull this in tonight. We'll see how I go. I'm a little bit concerned about this comment, but we'll see if I can update it there. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Uh, it was super duper fun. Because I'm going to rub a little DevOps on this, and oh. I'm going to make it better. <laughs> a Donovan quote came through a little late. Shia oh, gosh. All right, everyone. Have a, have a fantastic day. Thanks for the, the subscribes, Hydro, and the follows. If you're not doing so, I stream every Friday and Saturday morning. So Friday yeah, afternoon. I might change to a new time, 1 o'clock, so I can do some game streaming. I also have another Twitch channel, D Nintendo Dispatch, where I do uh, some gaming as well. We played some uh, War Groove last last uh, night, which was super fun. So give that a look if you're into some gaming. Um, yeah, what else is going on? Yeah, not much else. So yeah, head up NintendoDispatch.com is my, my normal podcast. I also had a really long blog post on my blog, Montemagna.com. Feedback on that's pretty open. It's uh, all about why I love and choose Xamarin. That's a pretty long, I gave it to my, my partner and she was like, that's a long blog post. So we'll see. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But yeah, yeah, so we'll see how that goes. But anyways, have a great, great, great afternoon. Thanks for tuning in and I will be chatting with everyone next week. All right, bye.